Welcome to CRH Talk, where we feature rural health professionals and dive deep into prevention, treatment, and building lasting health. Oh, welcome everybody to CRH Talk. I have Annalie Avery here. She's our Foundation and Patient Experience Director, and she has a lot of things going on in her department, and I think a lot of you would love to know because... I know we have some cool trips that you can win coming up. We have amazing memberships she's gonna talk about. And we also wanna talk about a new service that we're offering because of the foundation. So, Annalie, I know you've explained who you are on this podcast before, but maybe just give us a quick, a quick you know, run through about who you are, what you do, and what we have going on. Sure, so my name is Annalie Avery, and I'm the Foundation Patient Experience Director for Cody Regional Health. And what that means is that I help organize the philanthropy on behalf of Coda Regional Health, as well as focus on person-centered care. So recently, one of the really cool, exciting things that we did is we wrote a grant for VR goggles, and that is a virtual reality goggle. And you might be thinking, what does that have anything to do with healthcare? Well, we have residents that live here at our facility. We have clients, we have patients who are up on the floor for a long time. We even have patients in our cancer center who have to go through a really long cancer treatment. And sometimes sitting there, you want to be able to give them something else, something a little bit more special that focuses on the mental health, emotional health, and cognitive ability. And so we partnered with My, My End VR, and they put out different types of videos that focus on relaxation, um, they focus on mental health, physical therapy, you can catch butterflies, and even when patients or residents are put into isolation because of COVID, you can set them up with these VR goggles and they can take a trip to Paris or they can just relax on a beach and it gives something else um, back to our residents that maybe they've been missing. So, And some of you who are just listening, Annalie is holding this contraption in her hands <laughs> that goes on our residents and clients' face and it's a complete, I just did it like, what was it, a couple weeks ago? Yes. And I've never done this before, but I don't know how it tracks on your head, but you look up and you see something, you turn around and it's a complete 360 experience. It was crazy. It's really and cool because we had one of our residents put this on and they got to look at puppies and it feels like you're sitting in this playpen full of puppies and looking around. You can almost like reach out and touch yeah. them. I know, so, I think I did like the tiger where it was <laughs> feeding the tiger and then I was trying to catch butterflies. And so yeah, it really is a, an immersive experience and it does take you away. It does, it's really, really cool. We have one set that lives in long-term care and then this set that's kind of a roaming set where we can get a call, hey, we have a Pete's patient up on the floor that just needs something else. Because when you're in a hospital, you know, you hear the beeps and the noises and maybe you don't have a, smartphone, maybe you don't have anything that you're using to keep your mind busy, but this has educational opportunities. You can visit Yellowstone, national parks, zoos. It's just really cool and it's another way to focus on person-centered care. You're thinking of their mental yeah. and emotional health. And so while this may not be healing, but you can catch butterflies, you know, for our residents that are in it, a wheelchair. It is healing though too. And I, I know that um, Josh up in our behavioral health mm -hmm. and Cedar Mountain Center here, um, they're starting to just step their toe into it, but for all their groups and individual clients, um, you know, if you're a rural healthcare provider and you're listening to this, virtual reality is something people have been using for quite a while now. And I'm just thankful. Why don't you tell us kind of how we were even able to use it? Well, um, so we wrote a grant through the Cody Regional Health Foundation and they participated and we, we specifically chose this company because they work with senior living communities, but they, they have a care MDX where it, you can do a meditation and it'll do a walk through breathing exercise or meditation three to five minutes. Um, and then you can move on to a different experience. So there's that meditation yeah. aspect just to get yourself in the right state of mind before a counseling session. Or it can help with sundowners. So they put out a newsletter every month and they give you specific videos that might help with those residents that have sundowners issues. And so they'll go through a relaxation exercise. Mm -hmm. And they highlight those videos so that you know which ones to help with which residents or which patients. 
Um, and then they have just those life experiences. They even have a full veterans ex experience for veterans program, so they focus on that. Um, and this is great for a hospice house or somebody who can't quite leave or they want to go visit those memorials that, you know, has a special memory for them, then they can use this for that. Yeah. So it's a really, really cool experience. And I'm so grateful that our foundation was able to fund something like this. And I think and, it's amazing. And that's a good segue. Um, Annalie was on prior and she talked about the different things that our foundation here at Cody Regional Health funds for this health organization and she has an amazing new membership that people can be a part of that are really serious about helping grow innovative things for healthcare, and they do support a lot of our different service lines here at, at Cody Regional so maybe just tell us about the new membership program you have so yeah. we have a Ridgeline membership program and this is for donors who give a thousand dollars per year every year but we actually have a match a challenge match this year so any member giving a thousand dollars or more will be matched up to twenty five thousand dollars until December so we only have until December to try to reach our match so we're definitely doing a push out there and we have a lot of amazing donors but anybody who gives a thousand dollars or more becomes a Ridgeline member and there are certain benefits to the membership, but more importantly, they get to understand where their dollars are going. They get to be more engaged. We try to showcase all these wonderful things that we're doing to show person-centered care. Um, and then they're also listed as a sponsor for our events throughout the year. And they get discounts in our bistro and at our gift shop and partnering with our CEO for lunch and a lot more engagement. We love to engage with all donors at any level, but this membership just helps us to be more engaged with those high level donors and to reach a match to grow more person-centered care initiatives. I mean, so if I were to give $25,000 today, we would match you would meet your match. Match. Yeah, we would so meet our match. We'd if have anyone's we'd listening have out there and you want to give to an amazing cause and you know that that money is gonna go towards helping, you know, especially in the healthcare realm. Um, that would be awesome. Yeah, and we really like to showcase what we're doing. I know in the past we've um, sponsored like the Spirit Mountain Hospice House, the Cancer Center, dialysis. Um, initiatives this year for us, we're really focusing on our long-term care because during COVID, those residents and those senior living communities really got hit hard, which is why the VR goggles were so exciting for me. Um, but we really want to give something back to them. So for this fiscal year, our focus is on long-term care. Um, we do have still some other events that are going for Love Lights, which is hospice, and then also for our Cancer Center, which is our October 1st, Kilts for Cancer event, which is an awareness event. But we are raffling, for those areas, we're raffling off a trip to Ireland or um, the Game of Thrones journey. So we're pretty excited. Tickets are $25. For one ticket or you can get five for a hundred so i encourage everybody to get out there buy their tickets we don't draw until saint patrick's day but you get to choose when your trip is so yeah i mean trip for two six nights stay that's amazing yeah. i'm gonna try to win yeah yeah so save that date everyone and and also for the ridgeline membership things that you want to put your money towards awesome membership to be a part of um, and just rephrase that again, if you, if you donate at least $1,000, you get to be a part of that group, that mm -hmm. membership. And there's different tiers within the group, but yes, it's $1,000 a year, and there's all sorts of benefits that go along with that. Okay. And you can learn more at crhgive.org, either okay. about our trip raffle or about our Ridgeline membership program. Okay. And we'll put that information too below. Um, and then also, yes, save the date. We've got a fun event coming up. Um, that the foundation is helping us with, and that is Kilts for Cancer. It's gonna be right after the Highland Games on Friday, sorry, Saturday, Saturday, October, October 1st. First. So we have the Run for Hope in the morning, mm -hmm. and then the Highland Games all day, and then Kilts for Cancer event in the night, yeah. and it'll be great with the band and food and free dinner for the first 200. Mm -hmm. And so if you get there, come on in, and if you wear a kilt, you get a special prize. You get entered to win a door prize. So we have some door prizes, which will be fun. And if you don't have a kilt, we're actually going to be selling some to raise some money at the event. So we'll have kilts for $10 and you can participate that way. So if you don't have one, don't worry, you can buy one. And if you want to start buying tickets for the, 
the Ireland trip. You can do that right now. You don't have to wait. So don't have to wait. And we'll you don't have to link. be present to, I mean, we'll be putting it out there for everybody, but we're pretty yeah. excited about all the things we're doing this year. Yep. So Annalie, thank you so much for thank coming you. on again. And we want to have you back on because I know you always have things going on up at the foundation. Um, and if you have any questions for our foundation um, or for Cody Regional Health in general, please contact us and subscribe, like, share this podcast with others um, so they know what's going on over here. And thank you again for being on CRH Talk. Thank you. Have a great day. Thank you for listening to CRH Talk. Please subscribe, rate, or share this podcast. Check us out at codyregionalhealth.org and see what services we offer locally in Northwest Wyoming.